Hello, good morning, Mike German from Visual Animations. Welcome to day five, welcome to Saturday. Um, well, I've just had a lovely filter coffee on the Saturday rather than that instant I drink all week uh, with a bit of gingerbread in it as well. It's very nice, but welcome to Saturday. Today, we're going to be doing this, which is a nice water ripples, throwing a beach ball into a pool, that kind of thing. Right, let's get on with this because four minutes is going to be quite a stretch this may go over but when luckily as you can see we're not going to be building the pool or the ball you can grab these from sketchfab and there's a link below this video to grabbing these models right so let's get on and build the water so if we go to this view the top view and then we grab an end side and let's just pull that out and let's go to there so we know it's a 12 sided pool because I've counted them so we can put 12 in there and let's just pull that up so it's about the right size we now need to extrude that because it's only a single plane so let's drop it into an extrude and then let's take the offset down to zero because we don't want any depth to it down to caps type here we need to change that to regular grid to quad dominant so we only have squares and then let's bring those squares in at about three to give the water a bit more surface right let's have a look at where that's sitting let's lift that water level up uh, okay so now we've got the ball and we've got the the water surface let's take the extrude and ensign group them and let's connect and delete so it's one piece one bit of geometry and call that water we now need to add three deformers to this so we have a collision deformer and we also want a, a jiggle and a smoothing so if we put the jiggle underneath the collision and the smoothing underneath the jiggle right so in the under collision under colliders we need to add the beach ball into there and then object we want the fall off to be surface and then on here we want to make this um, this curve a bit different so so it will act more like a water ripple so what we do is we press control and then we drop a point in on this line every two, four, six, eight. So they're evenly spaced. And then we drag, drag the first point up to about eight. Drag the third point somewhere in between the two. And then the this one, where is it? One, two, four. That one there. So we're creating this kind of this kind of ripple shape which fades off at the end. Okay, and the first one's probably a bit high. So we want something like that where it'll just fade and drop down. Okay. So we have that on there. We have a jiggle, which is let's just lift the stiffness up a little there. And then it smooths it out at the end. Um, it's on smooth, I'm not sure. Yeah, I think that'll be okay. So what we need to do now on the ball, we need to add some dynamics because we want it to. We want it to be able to be thrown and then land in this water but we don't want it to land on the surface of the water because it won't cause the ripples we need a platform below the water for the ball to land on so if we copy the water remove the deformers rename that say platform then we drop that below the surface of the water and we put a collider on that and we also turn it off so we don't want to see that when this ball goes into the water because you'll see the platform underneath um, so on the beach ball itself we want to we want to go to dynamics and we want to check this custom initial velocity and we want to have this ball project um, at the beginning so let's throw it about 400 and say 300 let's see if that gives us the right dimensions okay so it's throwing it up but it's throwing it the wrong way so let's put 300 in the x which i think is probably right. oh wrong way so we put minus in it's a bit of trial and error sometimes isn't it depending on where the ball is in the scene there we go and as you can see it depends on the platform of where the ball will sit so if the ball's heavy you might want to drop the platform lower so then when it goes in it goes further in but that's a little bit too much because the um because it actually went below the surface of the water 
Okay, so now we've got the ball to react and start this ripple. What we need it to do is if we go to collision, we're going to um, change the distance and the strength as it hits the water, right? So let's just find out the point now where that just hits the surface there. And let's say we want the distance to only be about 10, so it's right near the ball. And we, and we want the strength to be, say, a 100 150 because it's it's the impact is the first thing that happens okay so we keyframe those we record those positions and then we let the it play out to about there but then we want the distance to travel let's, let's go about oh, let's go 200 and then the strength we bring back to zero now what will happen is when the ball hits it will ripple out and then it will fade out okay so it will hit big ripples and then fade so that's the kind of effect we want we want to hit ripple out and then stop okay now you can mess with these and because and, this is going to run over four minutes so that's that's the principle you just mess with the distance and the strength as these pieces hit hit this water and it gives you this kind of look now i'll just end this and it's going to run over um the the time but i've already created this transparent material um, which I'm not going to go into today because um, we haven't got the time, but I'm going to drop it onto the water and you'll see then it goes clear. So then when we play this, so I think I can hear my dog. I think I'm going to have to let him out in a sec. <laughs> but then we just do a quick render of that and show you. So we've got this lovely water. And if I just stop it at a point where it goes, ripples in there, I think you'll see. There we go, look got this really nice let's go in a bit closer and show you this really nice refraction coming along here from the from the water and then it's all just exactly as you imagine so that the texture I've created is, is, is just literally a transparent with water it will give you this lovely effect and these lovely ripples so I hope that's um, something that you can have a, have a go with I'm sorry again that it's run over four minutes I am one day one of these days it's going to be under four minutes <laughs> okay i'll see you tomorrow sunday um for day six another exciting one they're all going to be fun that's why it's called fun in four they're all going to be fun parts of cinema 4d rather than the the boring parts right we're going to try and make these these fun every day i'll see you tomorrow 4 p.m my name is mike german from visual animations take care goodbye for now